Hello and welcome to this short video in the series of videos showing how to format TMAs. In this video I'm going to look at how to make the most of the spell checker and I'm going to talk a little bit about why tutors will be assessing and commenting on your spelling in your assignments. The assessment guide gives you this advice. And the final version of your work should be spell checked it's a good idea to ensure that your word processing software is set up to check spelling in UK English rather than US English. The guide doesn't actually go on to say how you do this in Word, so I'll show you in this video how to quickly set the language for the spell checker and how to ensure that Word checks your spelling as you type. The status bar allows you to do a quick check for spelling errors. If the spell checker option does not appear, you can switch it on by right clicking in the status bar and clicking on spelling and grammar check. So do please check your spelling. To help you spot likely spelling errors as you type, it makes sense to have the spell checker turned on. That way you'll get the squiggly red line under any words that are spelt incorrectly. On the file menu, click options and then click proofing. Select the Check Spelling as you type checkbox. If your word processor is set to a language other than UK English, US English for example, the spell check could give you some confusing results. You can ensure that Word is using UK English by left clicking here. But make sure the whole document is selected before you do that by clicking Ctrl or Command A when you change the language option. Otherwise it's likely that only part of your document will be checked. Some of you may be thinking, why do we make such a big deal about spelling? Surely it's the content of what I write that's important, not how it looks. There is some merit in thinking this. If you write it for yourself, producing study notes for example, then the spelling isn't too important. However, spelling correctly does become important when we're writing for an audience other than ourselves. It's a fact of life that people judge one another based on appearance. And if you have to write a report, for example, for colleagues or a line manager, then it's more than likely that if the report you've written for them contains spelling mistakes, your readers, your audience will not value or perhaps not even read the document that appears to be written without regard for the reader's needs. If you're applying for a job that attracts dozens of applicants and your application contains any spelling errors, it's likely to end up on the reject pile before it's even read, even though you might have been the best qualified candidate for the post. Of course, you cannot rely totally on a spell checker to spot all of your likely misspellings. If you want to see how a spelling checker can be fooled into missing your spelling errors, you might want to follow this link. The spell checker is only an aid to writing, and it's not a substitute for reading and rereading your work to check for mistakes. If you need to improve your written English skills, the aforementioned British Council's website has plenty of good quality, free help and guidance. And of course, don't forget that the Open University has provided excellent resources for checking and improving your writing and other study skills here. And here. There's even a selection of booklets to help you with improving your study skills available to download here. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.